surf and weather. High surf and choppy conditions on Oahu's east shore today. All effects of Ignacio, which continues to pass to the north of the islands. This video taken at Sandy Beach Park today. Officials safety say that uh, officials from Ocean Safety say that they made 22 rescues on the east side of Oahu today. So just how long will these dangerous surf conditions last? And for that, let's get our first forecast from Juan Kelly Navarro. Juan. Yeah, we're getting a one-two punch out of this. This is just Ignacio. We still have Jimena just behind it. So let's take a look at what's happening right now. That high surf warning is in effect for all east shores until Thursday night, with heights running at about 10 to 15 feet. Uh, 20 footers are possible. The combination of high surf and strong currents, a very dangerous mix. And we could see this play out into the weekend uh, as Jimena starts sending in those waves. This is an up close view of Ignacio that is passing just to the northeast of Honolulu tonight, uh, about uh, 200 miles to the northeast of us. Very impressive there. But again, not a major threat to us. Here's a look at its path. It's been downgraded to a tropical storm. And you can see here a continuous. Continuing to move in a northerly direction. Here's an update on Hurricane Jimena, also not a major threat, but again, its track remaining well away from the islands. You can see it starting to curve uh, to the north. Uh, over the next 24 to 48 hours. Ignacio's outer rain bands, though, impacting the North Shore areas of many islands today.